Hello, everybody. I am so happy to see you all. I am Anna Pomazanova, Rossmore Excursion Desk Coordinator. Welcome to Around the World Travel Presentation. Today, we have a very special guest, Jay Fian. He is Business Development Manager for Northern California, Northern Nevada, Montana for Colette Vacations our wonderful, wonderful partner tour operator that we've been working with for the last 20 plus years, yeah. right, Jay? Long time, yes, or well over 20 years, yeah. And together with Colette, we're actually planning a few trips for fall of 2021, and today we're gonna to discuss one of them. Uh, the trip is called Discover Cowboy Country, and the dates are September 13th through the 20th of 2021. And that's a wonderful trip that goes to Wyoming, South Dakota, and a little bit of Montana. And Jay is going to tell us all about this wonderful adventure. Yes, let me do a quick screen share. We'll take a look at some of the photos and all. Let's see. Yeah, great trip. I, I got to admit, I, if I were to name this trip, I would have given it another name because to me, it's the Northern National Parks. So, but I have no role in that. But it really is visiting some fabulous parks up in the, the north. And um, anyways, I just want to tell you about the trip, a little bit about us, what's going on. I know I'm getting asked every day, how you all surviving with the, you know, virus and all that stuff. And so I just thought I'd kind of address it. So I'm with Colette. If you haven't traveled with us, we are the oldest tour company in the US, 103 years in business. You may have seen us on Wheel of Fortune two weeks ago. They gave away our trips every night. Um, but it's really a great company. And it's times like this that I'm glad I'm there because we're one of the only companies giving full cash back. We're not doing all the voucher stuff. You know, most cruise lines and tour companies are sending people vouchers. And that's nice because it guarantees they're going to come back to them. But we felt the ethical thing is, as we had to cancel trips, that the ethical way was to give folks their money back. And I can vouch for that because we actually did have a couple of trips scheduled with Colette in 2020 that unfortunately we had to cancel due to the COVID pandemic. And all passengers received a full refund no vouchers, no future travel credits. They did receive uh, full refunds on those trips. Yeah, I, I, I get torn on it because I'm jealous that vouchers mean you have to book with us again. So that's a great thing. But I will say the PR and the peace of mind and people are so, so grateful to get all that money back um, that it's, it's really the right thing to do. But it's, it's been a drain. It's been 118 million last I heard refunded to people. So some companies have so much debt, they just can't afford to give you your money back. So it's uh, interesting. Um, we are a four star and we're very careful about being a four star. You know, we research every hotel we scout out has to be ranked four to four and a half star on all the major travel sites. So you never travel with us and find a horrible hotel, you know, and they're good locations, lots of inclusive sightseeing. So it's not like going on a cruise where you have to buy these side trips constantly. Um, it's really great. And we have full-time tour guides that have worked with us for a long time. That's what I did for 11 years. Uh, we're best known for this though. We've had the same policy for 50 years. If you don't want to go on a trip, we'd rather you not be there. Uh, so we don't play the games of get us doctor's notes. You better get us x-rays, death certificates. We let you cancel because of a bad hairdo, a pimple, whatever. Um, and you can cancel the day before. I mean, imagine being booked on a big, expensive African safari, and you can call Anna the day before and say, I don't like my haircut. I'm not leaving the house. And you get every penny back but our insurance. All right. And you're probably thinking, wow, that must be expensive insurance. Well, it's cheaper than most. Uh, the big exotic trips are $399. Um, a lot of Europe's uh, $329, $379. And of course, uh, US is low 300s, high 200s. Um, our Santa Fe trip uh, that we're doing later this year, 199. So really reasonable insurance. Let you cancel anytime, any reason, but also covers you medically on the trip. If you ever twist an ankle, break a leg, if you ever need to fly home on day two due to a family crisis, you'll get reimbursed every hotel bed you didn't sleep in, every meal you missed after you flew home. 
So anyways, great that insurance. Is, we get a lot of that. Very important. And it's definitely a great value, you know, when you have three, four thousand, five thousand um, a dollar trip planned uh, for you know two ninety nine extra or three ninety nine extra, it definitely gives you a peace of mind that you can cancel any time for any reason. Yeah, it really is a it's a great plan. Um, and I, it's so reasonable. You know, most companies ask your age too. I'm amazed how many base the price on your age. That's mean, you know? Um, anyways. Okay. So I mentioned this already, but full cash back, not, uh, not vouchers for everything we've had to cancel. Um, this is our policy right now, everybody, as we start up trips, uh, we're starting up uh, in April with some U S trips. And so this will be going on as long as the CDC recommends it. So um, I'm assuming September probably still be happening, but what we're doing and uh, you know, coaches hold up to 44 people as a company, we never go over 44. I know some companies go with 50, that's kind of greedy. Um, but what we're doing now is running with a max of 27. Most of our trips have gone out. I know our Southern Charm went out with 13 that we had the folks go, but um, yeah, we're doing smaller groups, spreading you out on the bus every other row uh, until the pandemic's over, until the CDC says we don't have to anymore. Um, we're gonna issue a mask with your documents. Our coaches are getting sanitized throughout the day and in the evening and our farewell and welcome dinners, which are usually really fun. We have a big table with 30 or 40 of us all around. Well, just due to social distancing, we're gonna be spaced out a little bit. Once again, until this is all over. But, you know, some folks are saying, well, I'm not going to travel this year at all. And I, I really think, you know, we're going to Safeway today and Costco tomorrow. You might as well be at Mount Rushmore. I mean, you know, as long as we're going to keep you safe as we can. Um, it you actually know. might be safer at Mount Rushmore because you have time. <laughs> I think so. Safeway's aisles are so narrow. I, I'd rather be at uh, Rushmore for sure. <laughs> Uh, and if you've studied up on the airlines, you know, with the HEPA filters, they're saying it's really quite safe to fly when you keep that little air vent going. But um, anyways, it's, it's, I'm so looking forward to going somewhere. I, the only place I go lately is Target and Safeway. So I'm looking forward to seeing these beautiful national parks. But once again, the, the company called it Cowboy Country. Um, really a great, great trip, though. Some of the sites we'll see are beautiful. I mean, from the Grand Tetons to getting into Yellowstone, and then of course over to Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse. So some really nice stuff on this trip. I don't know about you, I always like to see a map to kind of get myself oriented. But now one of the things we do differently, you know, every company's different and some pride themselves on low prices. Um, we don't like to torture people with six hour bus rides that are bumpy and what have you and unseen it. So most of my competitors fly into Salt Lake City and I will say it gives you much cheaper air. So that's great, but it's a six hour drive to Jackson Hole and um, there's not much to see on the ride. So we instead fly you right into Jackson Hole. All right, it is a smaller airport and all, but this way you're not wasting a full day of a trip and six hours on a bus. Okay, so two nights Jackson Hole. Then you'll see we're going to head up to Grand Tetons National Park, over to Yellowstone, taking the sites of Yellowstone, which is, you know, our oldest national park, just fabulous. And then we head east. All right, we're going to visit uh, Cody and Sheridan. And then you get a three night stay in Rapid City and lots of sites around there from Badlands National Park, Custer, Crazy Horse. So some really good sights on this one. And I love a good three night stay on my trip. Really get to unpack and enjoy. So yeah, Jackson Hole is where we'll begin. Our hotel's right in town. Um, we include breakfast every day. So you don't have to worry about that. And, and dinner's generally every other night. We usually don't have dinner the first night because some of us got up early for flights and, you know, tired. So <laughs> Um, anyways, Jackson Hole's a fun town if you've not been. It's great to have a two-night stay there. We're going to uh, travel north and visit the Grand Tetons National Park. All right, beautiful scenery there. And then come back into Jackson Hole and have our welcome dinner. So this is all day two. Uh, it literally is a chuck wagon barbecue. So we'll be riding these wagons to dinner. And then when you get there, they have great food, entertainment. It's a, it's a fun way to kick off the trip. 
Okay, after uh, our first two nights in Jackson Hole, now we're going to head north and into Yellowstone National Park. Going to do the scenic loop in there, um, the Prasmatic Springs, just beautiful in this park. And of course, seeing bison, Yellowstone Falls. And we're staying overnight in Yellowstone, right? Yes. Yeah, oh, and then Old Faithful. Yeah, always need to see that. We will stay until she erupts. <laughs> but okay. um, yeah, oh, Yellowstone's a great spot to spend the evening. Okay, and then we'll head out, uh, traveling around Lake Yellowstone, our destination Sheridan. Um, yeah, once again, you just see bison everywhere up there. So this is Buffalo Bill Center. We get to learn all about him, his life and times, and then over through the Bighorn Mountains. And we'll be, uh, once again, staying in Sheridan. It is a, a one night stay in Sheridan. Then we continue to Rapid City. All right, and we get three nights here because there is so much to see. This is Deadwood. This is the town Kevin Costner kind of fell in love with when he made Dances with Wolves. And it really has been cleaned up and shiny. You know, they have little penny casinos, old saloons, antique shops, a fun town. They actually have uh, people that come out and have kind of a cowboy shootout in the street, very different than our California sh shootout. Um, just neat and fun to watch. This was home to Wild Bill Hickok and Calamity Jane. So we're going to learn about them. We're going to go to the cemetery that they're laid to rest. Um, so I think you'll really enjoy this town. And then in the afternoon, we're going to include a visit to Kevin Costner's museum, Tatanka. And Tatanka is all about the relationship between the Native Americans and the bison. All right. Just do remember Kevin's not included. <laughs> I, I get that a lot when people go to like Lake Como, they want George Clooney and the villa. And when people go here, they want Kevin Costner right there. Uh, he's busy, okay? He's, <laughs> he's making yellow well, stories. It's, it's COVID, he couldn't be possibly that busy. <laughs> well, he's filming Yellowstone. <laughs> I, I have read, I don't know if you watched that great show, um, but yeah, they're, they've been filming season four. So I think he's busy, but I, I know he goes there once in a while. So you never know. That would be a big bonus for us, Anna, if he shows up, wouldn't it, for our folks? But it's nice to have this museum included, Tatanka. Um, our hotel, by the way, is fabulous. It's in the heart of Rapid City, and this is the rooftop bar. So um, looks most beautiful. of the gang, yeah, most of the gang you can find at night up here for cocktails. Love this hotel. Okay, next day, that's my friend Derek. Boy, I trained him in 1995. <laughs> um, next day, we're off to Crazy Horse and also Custer State Park. Learn about the bison. That's where we take a ride out and see the bison. But Crazy Horse, you know, this is such a highlight for folks. This is a, a sculpture, the largest of its kind in the world. And it is privately funded, by the way. It has nothing to do with our, our government and funding. So it was started in, what, 1947. And it won't be done in my lifetime, but it's just so impressive to see. Uh, and then, of course, they have a nice museum area there, too, that we'll visit. And then Mount Rushmore. Got to take in Mount Rushmore. And on this tour, we actually see it daytime and nighttime. All right. So we, we go out there twice. And then this national park, you know, this is beautiful, but you don't hear about it a lot like you do Yosemite and Yellowstone in those parks. But this is Badlands. National Park, and um, they say it's the youngest landscape in all of North America, but it's uh, really beautiful in there. So we'll be visiting this park and doing some photo stops. This once again is why I think this trip should be called Northern National Parks. But anyways, it's look at that gorgeous. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, breathtaking. Uh, and then later on we go to this, and this is funny. People that have been there always smile, but others say, "What are we going to CVS on our vacation?" But no, this is Wall Drug. It's, it's an eccentric roadside stop that's kind of a must-see in the area, you know, and they have dinosaurs and just really interesting stuff in there. Uh, anyways, we'll have a farewell dinner, say goodbye to our fellow travelers, and then catch our flight home. All right, so that's our trip. Great time of year to be here. Kids will be back in school. Of course, I always love that. Um, How September about the weather in September? Well, it should be good. It should be good. We should be looking at 70s, maybe. Well, it's rare it hits 80 this time of year. It does get warm in the summer, 
Uh, the nights are getting cool though, for sure. Uh, especially Layers, towards the end of your trip. Jackets. Yeah, definitely jackets in the evening. Daytime, you should be just great. Um, I wanted to explain this a little bit. And I know Anna, when she sends this uh, link out to our travel show, you'll also have this link. So you probably just have to click on it. But I just thought I'd mention a few things. So, you know, we always made flyers for everybody to grab. We, we still do, but with COVID, they're asking folks, you know, not to be passing around pieces of paper. Also, a lot of the clubhouses are closed and so hard to get in and get a flyer. So what we started doing is making more of our flyers a digital. And I like it because when you look at two pieces of paper, it can't tell you the weather. It can it can only tell you so much. And this link tells you everything. So it's going to have Anna's contact info on it, Anna's email and phone. Uh, but it's going to have the day-to-day -day sightseeing. There's a button that says a see full itinerary. It tells you every day what meals are included, what sites are included. We list our hotels. We never put a generic city hotel. We always list where we're proud of our hotels. So we put where they are. Um, but once again, you can find out the weather, you can find out uh, luggage restrictions, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and if you're interested, you can actually sign up right there. You'll see a little blue button that says sign up now on this link. And it's just like our old sign up forms. You just put your information in. Now, some of us aren't real comfortable doing that. So if that's you, once you read it over and all, uh, you'll see Anna's number right there. Just give her a call and she can get you all set up on the trip. All right. We are debt free. Uh, we accept every major credit card and we don't beg for checks. Uh, it's not 1982. Nobody normally wants checks. So you always have to step back and wonder why a company is doing that. Um, companies are going to go bankrupt. They've gone a year without travelers. So it's one of those shaky times in the industry that please use a credit card because if a company goes under, Guess who's going to come in and give you your money back? Visa and MasterCard. Check writers lose everything. I remember this from 9-11. I was in this job and 9-11 happened. And um, anyways, just don't fall for saving a few bucks writing a check because it puts you at it puts you at risk. Uh, let's see. Any well, one question that people do often ask, um, how much walking is there on this particular tour? How active? the store is well we you know we cater to the senior market so we're not definitely not doing any hikes on this trip uh that being said when you visit these national parks we go to the parking lot where the photo opportunity is and sometimes there is a little walk to that scenic spot you know um and so i you know i guided a lot of park tours and i i will say what folks do if they have real mobility issues is hand your camera to someone and say you know, can you go over there and take a picture for me? I don't want to walk there. So, uh, but yeah, th this one's pretty easy. Most of the U.S. trips are physically quite easy. Okay. Yeah. And as far as free time on this tour, is there like a day or half a day where there is free time for them to explore on their own, perhaps? Yeah, there's free time, of course, Jackson Hole, and then some good free time in Rapid City. We don't have a whole day free, uh, which people like, because that means you got to buy all those side trips. So, they're sightseeing every day, but you do have, you know, afternoon leisure time, but most of it is in Jackson Hole and then on the three nights stay at the end. Because when you're in Yellowstone, you know, you're keeping busy seeing the sights, right. you know. Yeah. Um, okay, let's, a couple things. You know, folks, I always have to mention this because people don't realize it, but Anna and I are here to work with you. So, you know, if you have a sister or a college roommate you haven't seen in a long time and they live in Rapid City, you know, you could take this trip and stay three extra days and go stay at your friend's house. Uh, or you can even stay at our hotel and we'll, you know, add the post nights for you. So on any of the trips we show, keep in mind, you can go in early, you can stay late. Um, so just let us know, you know, we can, you know, some people want to fly business class to these trips, we can get you a price quote. So yeah, just let Anna and I know we're here to work with you. Uh, all these trips, of course, include the ride from Rossmore to the airport. All right, so you, that's all part of it. Um, and the airfare, round trip airfare is also included. Yes, airfare, air taxes, the ride to the airport. Uh, once again, the only thing you need to think about is maybe adding the insurance. And, uh, how much is the travel protection for this particular tour? So uh, this one's two ninety nine. dollars Excellent. And the whole price, the whole, uh, the price for the whole packet, including transfers um, from Rossmore to the airport, airfare is how much, Jake? So uh, the tour is normally $32.99, but we do have a book early promotion. So um, 
if you put your deposit down, you don't have to pay the whole trip, of course, but if you sign up by April 13th, it's $31.99. You save that hundred dollars. It's $31.99 per person when you share in a room, right? When there's two yes. people in the room, right? Yes. And then okay. single, of course, always has a supplement. Okay. So we already talked about the insurance. Hopefully everyone remembers all that good stuff. I wanted to address this because we, as you know, we had some travelers in 19. I'm getting a lot of questions on the loyalty program because people love their discounts. Um, what we decided to do is ignore the year 2020, which I think most of us want to do. Um, but you shouldn't be penalized because you couldn't really go anywhere most of the year. So I know we had a group in 19, in the summer of 19, go on our Best of Eastern Canada, the Niagara Falls, Montreal, Quebec trip. Um, if you ignore 20, that means they will get, they'll be outside of a year for the cowboy country, but they're gonna get $100 off, the people that went there. Uh, the folks that did Southern Charm will get 150 off. And then those that went to Costa Rica will get 150 off. So this is nice. And if you do the cowboy country, when you come home, you're going to have 150 for a full year off your next trip. And then after that, it goes to 100 for the following year. So it's just a little thank you. We used to give you tote bags. And, you know, some people had nine, 10 tote bags. They were getting a little annoyed. So I'd much rather give them 100 bucks than a tote bag. So it's just our little thank you for traveling with us. All right. Uh, just a reminder on IDs, because as you know, this is always changing. So uh, you don't need a passport, of course, or a visa, but what we are going to need starting October 1st, so we'll be after the cowboy country, is the new real ID. So just a reminder, if you put that off, it was set to go into place in 2020, but due to COVID, they have moved it to 2021. But you might want to make that appointment with the DMV and get your real ID. Now, if you don't want to get it, you can still fly around the U.S. without it, but you need your passport, okay, even for U.S. flights. So that's the new Ruling right. starting, starting October 1st. Starting October 1st of 2021, yeah. either real ID or passport required for all domestic flights. And while international flights, passports for sure. Yes, yeah. So, okay, well, I know some of you will have questions, um, you know, if you didn't jot down the link or what have you, or any questions. This is Anna's information. Um, Anna knows how to track me down. If she can't answer the question, we'll get you the uh, the answer. But anyways, we really appreciate you all checking out the Cowboy Country and check out our other videos too, the Smoky Mountains with the Bluegrass Country of Kentucky. And then of course, a neat holiday getaway to Santa Fe. Thank you so much, Jay. That is a wonderful trip. Um, I hope we'll have a few people who would love to go and um if you want to sign up if you have any questions here's my contact information on the screen we will see you next wednesday for another around the world travel presentation for now please stay safe and healthy goodbye bye